romanticizing our lives definitely does not mean our lives are perfect because none of ours are but it's all about being really intentional with all of the little joys that we have every day and being appreciative we are going to get out of a slump and romanticize our lives which basically means we are going to be thankful for all the little details in our lives today i am currently in a season of transition and change because i let my teacher life go and i do find that i have been in a little slump of trying to figure out what am i going to do for the rest of my life we are going to make a carrot ginger orange juice that i saw tiffy cooks make so this is not my recipe it's hers but it really is supposed to help with hormone balancing and inflammation so let's do it <laughs> good high-speed blender like a Vitamix in order for this to work because if I used my previous blenders I know this would have been really really chunky journaling can be hard for me sometimes because I don't feel like sitting down and writing about my feelings but then I got to thinking we will never really be in this exact moment in this exact time ever again so I'm gonna start off with writing down just everything that I am thankful for today Now I am going to write out any worries or fears that I have really with the intention of it being a prayer request list and I love doing this because then I can look back and remember in that time that's what I worried about and then here's where I am now. For example, on the first page of my journal, literally January 1st, 2018, one of my prayer requests was that I could save enough money for marriage and my future. And we were able to pay for our wedding completely. So that is definitely a praise report. And I was so worried about that back in 2018, thinking about the future of how am I going to do this? 2022, here we are. I wasn't even planning on getting married at that time. I think I was just so worried about the future. Okay, so currently in the season, what am I worried about? Something I am trying to enjoy a little bit more is stretching. I am a very fast paced person and I move really quickly so stretching is something that takes a lot of effort in my mind to slow down and enjoy. Stretches that I find are very helpful and I have seen improvements in my body is anything related to our hips. So I always look up hip mobility or hip stretches because I find that I'm able to run a little bit better and I'm not as sore because my hips are strengthened. Even just five to 10 minutes of stretching can really show that you're giving your body some TLC. Then I got a little bit sad thinking about letting teaching go, even though I knew it was the best decision for me, which shows that change can be hard even if it's good. What helps me get out of a slump is to wear different clothes and to get ready, even if I'm just going to stay at home. Something that I could eat every day without getting sick of it is sushi. Although I know that that's not very good for me because of the mercury, but in moderation, it's all good. For dinner today, I am going to need some rice, so I decided to just cook my rice earlier in the morning. You know, planning ahead. Okay, so I've been married for two weeks now, except my husband has not lived with me yet because he has to commute 45 minutes to an hour to work. And so we agreed that he would just stay in his apartment until the rent is up. And so the rent is up in two days now. So I'm helping him kind of move in gradually and I've been helping him organize the closet. Actually, I just want to make sure his clothes are organized in the system I already have. So I'm hanging his collared shirts up here and then over here you're going to find graphic tees like Mickey Mouse and Anya from Spy Family. Wait a minute, this doesn't belong here, does it? So over here is just going to be plain colored t-shirts. 
over here are shorts and then over here are workout clothes I have not color coded them because I know that that is not going to be sustainable in here <laughs> so he brought this over and this over he told me we could organize together but since he's at work all day long and I am home I just thought why don't I just get it done for him Okay, just kidding. I ended up moving his jackets to a different little coat closet and then I hung all of our pants up here together except mine have the silver hangers and then he has these dark ones. Today for dinner we are going to make Jungkook suyuk. So in BTS In The Soup 2, he made this pork belly that is boiled for a long period of time and you eat it with kimchi and rice. Mm. Throw the apples right on top and then cover the pot. We're going to cook this for 40 minutes and you totally can cook it longer if you want to. While I waited for my suyuk or my pork belly to boil, I decided to read during this time. I find that reading also takes discipline for me because sometimes I feel like doing a bunch of other things than sitting and reading but I know it is so good for my mind to be able to think about other things other than my troubles. Voila! It was finally time for me to take out my pork belly, everything else you can discard and then we're going to slice our pork belly all the way through. I am trying to plate it nicely for me and for you. I got this cute Tupperware from Amazon to store my leftovers and then I ate my dinner. My husband is not home yet, but I get to eat with my viewers. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on my get out of a slump and romanticize your life vlog. Remember, it is all about being thankful for what we have already been given because as broken sinful people, we really don't deserve anything in this life and yet God is gracious and good. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!